So this one's from Bose. A um, while ago I did a, a, a grayscale render and they were asking if I could do the same thing for the vector graphics. So I need to figure out where to get the, the vector graphics package. Um, but before I do that, I actually I, I looked the, up the documentation for this. There's a couple of known limitations. SVG import on this package implements a subset of VG, uh, SVG 1.1 specification. The, the one that is interesting here is the uh, the per pixel masking is not supported uh, and then the other thing is filter effects are not supported and that makes me think that maybe this is not possible to do a grayscale version of it uh, so uh, to test it out I've got uh, a colorful I think it's a clownfish but anyway it's an orange fish maybe it's a goldfish um, and I'm going to test that out uh, as soon as I can find the package which I'm going to try and look for now. Luckily I found this handy post here and so what you have to do is do add com unity vector graphics. So let me get this right here. So vector graphics. So I'm going to go up to here and add package from git URL. Add. There we go. There's our vector graphics. Which is actually experimental, it's not even preview. And that's adding that in there. Um, okay, currently installed. Okay. So that is installed there. So hopefully that should be inside here. Vector graphics, cool. So we get that there. Change log package. Awesome. Okay, so it says it provides an SVG file import as well as generic there. Okay, so I should be able to now drag and drop that vector image in there. So I'll find the uh, image here and drag and drop it into here. And there we go. There we have our fish. So that is the, the fish that we want. And it tells you you get experimental package in use there just to make sure that you know you're not putting this out into to the world because obviously you, you can't have that. So if I drag and drop this into here, okay, so it's got this here, it's got a sprite renderer, there's a sprite, and it does have a material against it. So we should be able to apply, um, we should be able to apply our shader to it. So when we run this, what do we get? Okay, there we go, there's our, our, our fish in the screen there. So let's grab the shader and then um, see if we can apply it to this. I should also point out that um, this is using just the standard shader. It's not using that the the new um, uh, the new pipeline they're doing. So this is not going to work for uh, the U URP or whatever it's called the the new rendery pipeline thing. This is only going to work with the the old three D one. So I'm going to copy this here um, and uh, put that inside the uh, the game and then we'll see where we get from there so uh, actually I can just go up to here and do copy so this is a custom object grayscale so go back into here and you see we've got our materials here for the vector graphics um, we're going to come back to that in just a sec so I want to do create um, shader um, and then uh, I think I've got this as an unlit shader um, and we'll call it fish. Actually, we'll call it grayscale. Because that's what it's called. And then uh, we should be able to just replace it wholesale with this. So this is shader unlit grayscale. Shader unlit grayscale okay so go back to here compiles it and it should just work um, and then the material that we use for the fish is this one here so if I make a copy of this one uh, and then put it in here uh, I can change the shader so instead of unlit vector gradient I can change it to uh, the grayscale one 
Okay, so the grayscale one is working as is. Um, and this is our um, grayscale vector one. So we go back to here and now we're using our vector gradient so we should be able to just drag and drop this in here and it should just miraculously change. And it does not. It does in fact not do that. So it's sort of kind of worked but it's not multiplying anything out. So we need to do a wee bit of a wee bit of checking out as to why that's not working. Um, obviously none of these color changey things are going to work. Um, okay, let's try and see what's gone wrong with the shader here. I just realized that uh, the ask was for a UI element, so I'm going to remove that. Um, and I'm going to create a UI and uh, SVG image. So there we go, there we've got our image there, and then we choose our image, which is going to be our sprite here, uh, which is not letting me do that. Why is it not letting me do fish? Oh, there we go, there's our fish. Okay. So there's our fish there. Oh, the shaders are all weird and wrong for that one. Whoa. Oh, we haven't set the material, that's why. So if we set the material to be our... That's the vector gradient. Vector gradient UI. Okay. So is it going to get it right for this? Well, no. And it's also really pixely as well. So if we just change that to the grayscale one, do we... Oh, okay. Well, that's not right at all, is it? Mm. Uh, where are we? Sorry, materials, vector, vector UI, unlet vector UI. Okay, so if we go back to here and then do that there, yikes. That's not good. Okay, let me <laughs> let me start this again. Okay, so the fish looks like it's the right fish. So it's coming in. It's vector gradient there. Okay, um, and then for the image here. Okay, we've got these other ones here. Uh, I don't know why these. These are all kind of like Steve Jobs. Okay, let's try this one here. So this is Unlit Vector UI. So if you go into Unlit Vector UI, you'll see that it uses the Unlit Vector UI shader. Now, we can't get to it, but I think we can actually get it into here. So Unlit Vector UI. So if I open this, uh, so I think the problem is that our main texture isn't the right one. So if we copy this one here, um, we can create a new grayscale one. So if I take this one out here and then I say, go into here and then do create, oops, Create um, a shader. Um, unlit shader. Uh, gray scale UI. And change this to unlit. grayscale UI. Okay, so I go to my grayscale shader and then down here I've got my color. So this is this is the uh, the color here. Um, in here it's going to be slightly different so it's going to sample the texture there. So 
I'm going to take this out here. Actually, I'm going to put it in here. So C is the color. What was that? Blah, 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 blah. So we already have the C color there. So um, we're not going to grab it again. We're not sampling from that texture. So if I put that back there, you see that we get the color in from elsewhere. Well, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be getting it from the sample texture. So now, uh, if I go to here, get our one in there, and then use this unlit one, uh, instead of having that, we do grayscale UI. So now that's grayscale UI. We now go to our SVG image and then drag and drop this into material. And nothing changed. Is that good? <laughs> it doesn't seem good. Um, okay. Well, it didn't harm it, which is also good. So if I go to unlike grayscale UI, um, go to materials, unlike vector UI, okay. Unlit vector gradient, unlit, unlit vector UI is that one there. Okay, that looks fine. So I don't know why. What if we just did... Now that we have this... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. I'm so confused. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. What one did I change there? so confused okay that's the sprite texture yeah this is vector grayscale ui oh wait did i change the wrong one here i changed the wrong one yeah i grab this one here and then inside here i do this and then and lap it between there and the blend. Uh, oh, this is me lurping between there. Okay. All right. Okay. So I don't want this. And I don't want this. And I want to see. Um, I want to return the black and white version of it. Yeah. Okay. So now we get grayscale. Ha <laughs> ha! Huzzah! The system works. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's see if we can explain this one away. Uh, I will. <laughs> I will. Uh, obviously, share the the code for this. Sorry, it's been a bit of a messy video. Uh, if you're looking for a straight up tutorial, uh, I should probably do one. Okay. So what I did was uh, I went into here and I found the unlit vector UI uh, and it uses the vector UI shader. Okay, so I'm going to create another material that is going to use this new shader. And so the shader that I'm looking for is vector UI. So I go into here and I see vector UI. I took the, the source code of that and then I created this new grayscale UI shader which is the exact same code. I then borrowed this little line of code from my previous uh, video on the shader uh, and that clamps it into, that gets the intensity which is based on NTSC. You can change the, the ratios there but that's essentially the, the, the values there. 
Um, and then that gives me a black and white value. Actually, it's not black and white value, it's a grayscale value. Uh, it gives me a grayscale value and I return that as the color. That's my sampled color is now this uh, value. And once I've done that, I then set the um, the shader of our SVG image to this new grayscale, excuse me, grayscale image, which is now using, I'll get rid of this one here, uh, yep, uh, which is now using this shader here, which I've just created. And that's it. That is uh, vector graphics with um, grayscale. So that's the thing. Uh, and if we want to blend it, um, we should be able to also add a blend here as well. So um, let's call this uh, blend. Uh, blend. Um, and then we can do uh, our LERP between the two colors. So we could do um, that one there, and then return LERP there. Whoa. Oh, blend. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. And then I need to do. Uh, where are we? Um, um, is it in here? Yeah. That there. So now we're at. Um, So now we get, well, I don't know why it's a checkbox there, but at least you can choose between color and black and white. So let's say, for example, your your icon is disabled, you would turn that on, and if it's not disabled, you would turn it off. There you go. I don't know why it's not. It should be float, but I'll leave that for <laughs> another video. Uh, but yeah, that's that's everything. Uh, thank you, uh, Bose. I hope you're print. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, thanks for the the suggestion for the the video, and um, catch you in the next one. Thanks again, everyone. Bye bye.